Hello guys, thank you for joining me again for another video. If you're not a subscriber, do hit the subscribe button. Guys, let's not talk about my hair. I like just showing my natural hair when it's looking rough, really rough. So I just had to cook this up right here. Today's video is high end and low end makeup. I'm trying to, I'm comparing the MUA Correct and Conceal palette. And you can get this from super drop if you know mua you know mua and i'll be comparing it with the makeup forever contour palette and this is retail for 27 pound but i got my off tk max so guys what to say about this if you want to know my thoughts on this two concealer palettes stay tuned for this video guys two favorites Primer, my moisturizer and my Kiko Mac Base Primer. I'm going to take the two concealers, concealer palettes I'm going to be using today. So I'm going to be using the, the MUA concealer, this one right here. Concealer palette, right outside of my face. Contour palette. So I'm going to use this on the left hand side of my face. MUA contour palette have 12 shades on here. Why the Makeup Forever one have just five shades right here. Makeup Forever one. You have this one and this one to contour your face if you're a dark skin girl. Then you have these two to highlight your face. Then you have one color correcting, the orange color correcting on this one. MUA one you have a contour shade you can either use this or this as a dark skin girl then you have some highlighted shade right here so many highlighted shades so I'm going to take this orange shade right here to color correct the right hand side of my face the palette is really really soft like it's really really soft these are the areas I always color correct on my face if I'm color correcting take the Makeup Forever one, this color right here, the orange shade. It's also creaming when you're applying it, it's very creamy. On the Makeup Forever one, is quite like orange more than this other one, if you understand what I'm saying. I'll be using this Lacombe foundation, it's a Lacombe Ten Title foundation, and I got a sample from the shop. This is a sample of the foundation. As you can see, a little bit of the foundation goes a long way. I'm going to be highlighting using this shade right here. This is the shade I like using to highlight on this. Warm up with your finger, I can't really see it moving, but when you use the brush, it's so stiff. Using this on the left hand side. I'm doing it half in half. This blend out really nice. Did you have a variety of shades to highlight with? This one. And this one is really, 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 really soft on the face. I'm just going to flip the sponge. This one blend, blend out really nice. Make up forever one is quite thicker than this MUA one. They are both creasing, so that is one thing. They are both creasing underneath my eyes because I need to blend and set it in place. E7 banana powder. To contour my face, I'm going to be using this Eco brush for the makeup forever side. I'm going to take this shade right here. So it's better to wet the brush. This 
a beautiful color to contour with and blending really nice just take a little bit my nose I'm going to take the MUA palette and I'll be using the Wee Technique powder blue brush the B03 right here at the bottom this dark shade this also gives you a very nice contour and you can build up the color <laughs> they are both similar guys so similar really similar this one is very creamy this one is very thick like i said i'll just set it in place using the cover girl ebony bronzer You guys should give me a suggestion of any new bronzer that you know that is good. So tell me at the comment section because I've been using this cover again bronzer bronzer for years, so you should know that it's my favorite. This is the BH Cosmetic Pro Matte Powder in 250, and I'll use this brush by Black Covers Cosmetic, the F25 brush. This is how my face is looking. The only con I have on using a cream, cream concealer on my under eyes. That's why I don't use thick concealer. They dry out my under eyes. So, yeah, they dry out my under eyes. Eyes are my nose area. Now, as usual, I'm going to spray my face using my coconut water spray. Any spray that you have will do. Makeup Revolution Highlighter, just take down. Now to blend out the highlighter, I'm going to take the Very Berry Blush. This is the final look, the MUA concealer palette and the Makeup Forever concealer palette. They both work really nice. This is just six pound and this is twenty seven pound. Like if I I won't get this for twenty seven pound. That is just me because I got this on sales from TK Maxx, so that's why I have this left to me. I won't buy this for twenty seven pound because you just have five concealer right here and fine it does the work like like it's really nice it's full coverage but for 27 pound i will pass on this but this is amazing from mua six pound and the quality is amazing like mua came true and you can get this from super drug this is amazing guys i'm not going to ever lie about this because it's cheap it has 12 shade blends really nice on the skin you can't really tell if i use 27 pound or 6 pound concealer on my under eyes like you can't tell that is the beauty about affordable makeup when it's good is good this is good money worth spent for me unlike some other concealer palette i will be very patchy and they won't blend really nice or will just be ashy on you or they'll be gray on you if you, this is highly recommended if you want me to be doing more of this comparison video high end and low end let me know at the comment section if you like this video do give this video a thumbs up thank you so much for watching this video i will see you guys on my next video bye guys Open eye. Feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds of